Looking for magic cards? Shop at Flipside Gaming using promo code LVD or find them on TCG Player through my affiliate link. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a Jeskai Mutate deck in standard, built around Lord Dracus and Vodrok Apex of Thunder, a 3 mana, 3 3 legendary elemental dinosaur cat with flying and first strike, mutates for 4 mana, and whenever this creature mutates, we may cast target non creature card with converted mana cost 3 or less from our graveyard without paying its mana cost. And then we've got Lord Drancus as a 3 mana 2 3 lizard beast with mutate, costing 2 mana. And whenever this creature mutates, return target instant or sorcery card from our graveyard to our hand. So both of these mutate creatures want us to play a bunch of cheap non creature spells that we can keep getting back from our graveyard over and over again. And we've got a nice selection of interactive spells in this deck. And especially Callous Dismissal, I'm a big fan of in this deck. A 2 mana sorcery that returns target null land permanent to its owner's hand. And then we also get to amass one, meaning if we don't already control a zombie army, we get to make a 0 0 zombie army token with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. So it's not actually a 1 1 token, it's a 0 0 with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, meaning that if we mutate onto it, it will keep that plus 1 plus 1 counter effect which is very useful, and once we mutate onto the zombie army token, we will no longer control a zombie army, so the next time we amass with Cal's Dismissal, we will get to make a new 1-1 zombie army token, so we can later mutate onto that as well. And then looking at the other non-creature spells in this deck, we've got God's Willing as a nice way to cheaply protect our creatures, since we do tend to go all in on this one creature with mutate, so it's nice to have a one mana answer to potential removal spells. We've got Opt as a cheap cantrip, so no matter the board state, we can always get some value from our Lord Dracus and our Vandrock. We've got Shock as a cheap removal spell dealing 2 damage, and then a 2 copies of Flame Sweep as well, as a nice sweeper against the aggressive decks. And most of the creatures in this deck will survive the 2 damage, so it's going to be a one-sided deal. And then looking at some of the other creatures in our deck, at 2 mana we've got the Polywog Symbiote, which also has great synergy with Mutate, as a 2 mana 1-3 Frog, making each creature spell we cast cost 1 generic mana less to cast if it has Mutate, so this also includes the Mutate alternate cost. And whenever we cast a creature spell, if it has Mutate, we get to draw a card and then discard a card, so we can get rid of extra lands or just put some cheap spells in the graveyard that we can later get back with a Lord Dracus. If we Mutate a Lord Dracus with a Polywog Symbiote in play, we can uh, trigger the Polywog Symbiote's ability first, drawing and discarding. So even if we don't already have a instant or sorcery in the graveyard to get back with a Lord Dracus, we can always draw into it with a Symbiote and then discard it to then still get it back with a Lord Dracus. So that's another important interaction to keep in mind. And then we also have four copies of Sprite Dragon as a 2-mana 1-1 one, one Fairy Dragon with Flying and Haste. And whenever we cast a non-creature spell, we can put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on the Sprite Dragon. It's another great mutate target, as it will keep all those plus 1 plus 1 counters and the ability after we mutate. So we can, uh, of course, also make use of all those cheap spells that we can keep getting back over and over again to grow the Sprite Dragon to help us close out the game. And then last but not least, the full playset of Sea Dasher Octopus as a 3 mana 2 2 Octopus with Flash, mutates for 1 and a blue, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So with a Polywalk Symbiote in play, the mutate cost on the Octopus is just a single blue mana, which is very easy to sneak into play, and then maybe later protect with our God's Willing. And it's also just a very cheap way to re-trigger the mutate abilities on Lord Drakus and Vadrok. So that's the main deck. Looking at the mana base real quick, we've got all 12 Shocklands with Hallowed Fountain, Steam Vents and Sacred Foundry. Four copies of Aurogran Triome as well. And then a 2 Temple of Epiphany. And some basic lands, 2 Mountains and 3 Islands. So we're definitely a main blue-red deck. Just splashing a bit of white for God's Willing and Vadrok. So that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. We're on the play with uh, a reasonable hand. Scry with Temple. And then Dismissal gives us our first mutate targets. Do need more lands right now. Facing a Steam Vents. Alright, Symbiote's a nice turn to play. And an Ugin's Conjurant. Opponent could also be messing around with Mutate. So don't mind dismissing the Conjurant. And then I could keep up God's Willing. 
probably better off just uh, playing this tapped. That way next turn I have the option of mutating Drakus and replaying Dismissal. Although I guess we've got another Dismissal in hand too. But they don't need to know that I have another Dismissal available. Can discard the Sacred Foundry here. And Vadarok is looking pretty good too. For three Bone Crusher Giants. Ooh, Octopus. I've got a lot of options. If I mutate the Octopus on the Drakus, get back Dismissal, cast Dismissal, and then I still get to keep up God's Willing. Whereas, I guess, if I mutate Vadrok, I still get to keep up God's Willing, thanks to the Symbiote discount. But I don't get to draw the card from the Octopus trigger, which is maybe better. Don't need double God's Willing. Don't really care about the two damage. Alright, another octopus that can be mutated onto the Drakus or maybe something else. Stone coil for four, that's fine. So they should be pretty dead. Can just mutate this on the zombie, untap and then dismissal or Vadrok. Both work. Let's go with Vadrok. Get back dismissal. All right, sweet. Jeez. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. Bit of interaction with the dismissal and the flame sweep. Hopefully we get to bounce something turn two to set up our Lord Drakus. But just a tapped Thurmud Falls for now. Could hold this to cycle it later, but I wouldn't mind having access to four mana to mutate Vadrok, so I'll still play it here. Also need double rat to mutate this. Symbiote's a fine dismissal target. Sir opponent on a Simic mutate deck. Next turn I can mutate Drakus, get back dismissal, cast dismissal, or I can just mutate Vadrok. Interesting. If I mutate Vadrok, cast this missile, opponent can essentially counter it by giving the troll hexproof. But then it opens it up to a shock or a flame sweep, killing it. If I mutate Lord Drakus, I can just attack as a 3 4. Opponent probably takes it. And then do I still want to cast a dismissal? Or I can just hold up shock and play Hallowed Fountain tapped. I guess I would rather mutate Vadrok and then mutate Drakus later instead of the other way around. So let's do this. So we don't get the zombie army token because the dismissal got fizzled. Not having a legal target. Pouncing Shore Shark is gonna bounce or mutate stack. And an octopus. Alright, so we've got some options. Can just go for Shock plus Flame Sweep. Can 
play Vadrock as a 3-3, which isn't bad. And then potentially mutate the Octopus end of turn if I shock myself. Yeah, let's do that. Or I guess I could do it now, just to get the Dismissal back. I guess I don't mind doing it now, so they can mess with uh, this interaction. So a bit of back and forth here. Opponent's gonna mutate the shark again. But now we have uh, a valid mutate target in play for Lord Rackus. Alright, so we've got the one dismissal in the graveyards. If we only have the one spell in the graveyard to get back with uh, Vadrok and Lord Rackus, then by the time the Vadrok trigger resolves, it's no longer going to be the uh, same cards in the eyes of the Lord Rackus, so we wouldn't be able to get it back in our hand, but it's still better to cast it for free with uh, Vadrok here. Another octopus. So pretty likely that they're dead here. Got a bunch of creatures back in our hand now. Alright, the Grazer could save them. So I could have shocked them down to four and then unsap, mutate Vadrok, and get back dismissal to clear the Arboreal Grazer and attack for lethal. Alright, sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with uh, decent looking hands. Turn to Symbiotes. Can maybe sneak an Octopus into play, facing a Lurus deck. Looks like the Black Rat Sacrifice variants. Hateful Eidolon could be a problem if they go Myers Grasp next turn. So maybe I'm better off waiting until I can keep up God's Willing here. Seems a little safer. And then if I don't need to God's Willing, I still have the option of mutating the Octopus. Attacks with both. Could be a dead weight here instead of a Mars Grasp as well after taking one damage. Reveler gets rid of a Kaya's Ghost Form. Pretty cool combo with Lurus as well and another Eidolon. Alright, so I'm gonna have a hard time getting in for damage with my Octopus. So, maybe I'm better off just waiting. Kinda wanna find a Shock so we can keep getting it back with Vadrok. To clear these Eidolons, but I guess we also need to get rid of Lurus. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Flame Sweep is looking great here if we can dig into it. So maybe I should just play this to get to draw a discard from Symbiote. 
let's wait. Can maybe play the other symbiote and then mutate octopus and get double draw discard triggers. And that gets us closer to flame sweep perhaps. Next turn I can also just cast this as a 3-3. Three, three. and gets access to the Kaya's ghost form which is pretty good with these hateful eidolons although bouncing Lurus should still work and not trigger anything so end of turn do we do anything with octopus didn't think so we'll just dismiss Lurus And then probably just pass a turn. I could still attack with one symbiote. If they block with one Eidolon, of course a mutate on Octopus gets to kill the Eidolon. If they double block, I could mutate plus God's Willing to kill one of them and not lose my Octopus, but that seems kind of bad. Let's just pass. And then next turn I get to maybe mutate Vodrock and get the Dismissal back. Opponent does nothing. Digging for shock here. And flame sweep still. Sprite dragons decent. Can get rid of one symbiote maybe. Yeah, let's discard the land. And then maybe just opt over dismissal. Opponent gets to use a castle end of turn maybe, but it's gonna cost him a lot of life. Get in for four. And now mutating the octopus onto Vadrok gets us another Vadrok trigger. Don't want to shock myself because we are facing a serrated scorpion deck, which can definitely add up with allures. But a 1 3 is a surprisingly good blocker to hold off the scorpion. So we don't actually have to kill it. Sure. So do I want to do anything end of turn? Don't think so. We'll play the Sprite Dragon first. So it starts picking up some counters. Tempted to mutate onto Vadrock here. Do I need double gods willing? Probably not. Get back dismissal. And I guess we'll mutate this as well. Onto the Sprite Dragon. Lord Drakus looks great. Alright, we're definitely going off. Flame 
flame sweep would still be amazing if we can find it. And our opponent concedes, God's Willing protects from Claim the Firstborn. And that's it. Sweet. So yeah, the 1-3 is pretty effective blockers here. Didn't see any uh, Mars Grasps, which could have been kind of problematic otherwise. And then uh, the Bounce spell, a good way to deal with Kaya's Ghost Form on Lurus, since we're not actually killing it. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, facing a Yorion Sky Nomad deck. This hand is missing some cheap instants and sorceries. We only have creatures here, and these creatures kind of need the uh, instants and sorceries to function properly. Don't have a cheap creature to mutate onto. I think this is a mulligan. Alright, this is a bit more balanced. I don't expect Flame Sweep to be great against most Yorion decks. So we'll let that one go. Alright, so probably gonna start by casting an opt. Yeah, I'll take the C Dasher here. Don't get to play it this turn, but makes for a nice mutate next turn on the Sprite Dragon. And we've got God's Willing for protection. If they have a Teferi, they get to bounce Dragon, but then I get to kill Teferi thanks to Haste. Could also decide to God's Willing in response to the Teferi, but then they're just gonna plus and I won't necessarily get to kill Teferi on the following turn. Just a Hallowed Fountain tapped. So point with a pretty slow start. I think I'm okay mutating the octopus here. Alright, Vatrock is going to be pretty good too. Another omen. If they have a Shatter the Sky next turn, I guess we're in a bit of trouble. Although they are playing an 80 card deck, so less likely to have the turn 4 sweeper. Nah, they had it anyway, so... Not much I can do, God's Willing doesn't save us against the destroy effect. So just gonna cast Vadrok as a 3-3. Three, three. Don't really want to dismissal the Omen, even though now they get to play Yorion and trigger the Omens again. Lord Dracus. We'll start by attacking. Can just cast Lord Dracus and then maybe next turn mutate Vadrok onto the Dracus. Or underneath it. Yeah. Omen of the Hunts. If their plan is to ramp into Agent of Treachery, at least God's Willing will come in handy.
And maybe that's why they didn't want to play Yorion turn 5, is because they want to blink an agent. These decks also typically play Elspeth Conqueror's Death, where God's Willing is somewhat relevant. Portal of Sanctuary, alright. Only bounces creatures. Let's get in for five, I guess. Let's just pass again. Time wipe. It's too bad. So are they finally going to play their companion? And there's Yorion. Putin gets to draw a lot of cards. Sprite Dragon, I guess, is fine. Don't have high hopes of uh, getting there next turn, but you never know. Probably draws into another sweeper, but then I've got a hasty sprite dragon to redeploy. Flood of tears, nice. All right. Wilderness Reclamation to get all the mana. Teferi, pretty awkward with uh, Vodrock's ability. So they're gonna get to untap all their lands. And then the question is, do they have a sweeper, they get to play at instant speed thanks to Teferi. Just gotta go for it. Alright, wow. Well, Pona did not have any interaction here left in those uh, three unknowns. If it had a Time Wipe or another Shatter, we pretty much uh, lose on the spot. But yeah, Vadrok wouldn't be able to cast a spell from the graveyard because of Teferi, just uh, as a side note. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. A uh, bit of a slow hand with a lot of tap lands, but I do get to opt to dig for some cheaper creatures to then mutate uh, Vadrok onto. And the fail case is the 1-1 one -one zombie army from Dismissal. So we'll play the Triumph first, that way I kind of delay the decision on the Scry 1. If I draw land, I no longer need lands. If I don't draw land, then I might want to put a land on top. Don't need another Vandrock. 
opponent on basic mountain. Into a tamped blood crypts. I'll take the islands. So no target yet for the Callous Dismissal. I could just cast the Lord Rackus here. So we have a future uh, mutate targets. Yeah, I guess so. Could have also cast Vadrok to put a slightly better creature in play first. A Lava Coil hits the Drakus, her opponent appears to be on a more controlling Rakdos deck. So I could shock myself so we can play Vadrok with God's Willing backup. Is that something I'm willing to do? Yeah, I guess so. Gotta get the ball rolling somehow. And then I can still cast my opts if I don't need to God's Willing. And then look for more mutate creatures to get value from our Vadrok. They could have Heartless act in response. Don't need more dismissals. Alright, not a Vadrok. So I could mutate, get two triggers, and then can only really get back opt. Let's attack first, just in case they do have some instant speed removal here. I guess I can just opt main phase to look for another creature. Just a shock. I guess we'll hold this to cycle then. Blacklands Paragon. Okay. So maybe it's a Rakdos Knight deck after all. Can still cycle Triome and shock it next turn. If they want to Ember Cleave here, I can shock in response. Dread Presence. Okay. It's a fine target for Dismissal. And a Sprite Dragon. Alright. Not a bad turn here. Prime Dragon is out of range of the two damage that the Dread Presence could deal. And now next turn I can mutate Vadrok onto one of the non-Vadrok creatures. Although I'll have to be careful not to run into any problems with the legendary rule. So I might have to keep Sprite Dragon as a Sprite Dragon. Pyrohelix. Into... Another Pyrohelix. Alright. So this must be a uh, Pestle and Spirit deck with Pyrohelix and maybe the one mana Blazing Volley to a combo. So I guess I'm into Mutating Vodrock now. And then we don't have to worry about a Legendary Rule. Get back an Opt. All right, our opponent concedes. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw, facing an Obosh deck. So it could be a red-black sacrifice or a mono-black aggro. This hand's got a lot of interaction, a bit light on uh, creatures, but I guess the dismissal will make it a mass token in case we find mutate uh, creatures later. I'll try it. If we don't find a creature within our first three or four draw steps, we could be in a bit of trouble. Alright, maybe it's a mono red Obosh deck. Probably worth uh, shocking the spitter. Opponent also still gets to play Bone Crusher Giant for what it's worth, since uh, it is an odd mana cost despite Stomp being two.
second main 10 3 dodger, so maybe they had a spectacle card they wanted to play, like uh, Light of the Stage, and the Shock kind of threw them off. Can go Triome and Shock the Dodger to keep them off spectacle as well. Let's do that. Not sure why they're activating the Dodger. Alright. Managed to keep the board clear so far. Now I'm probably interested in just casting the Octopus end of turn instead of mutating it, and then we can clear a path with the Dismissal. There's a stomp from Bone Crusher. Also, I don't really want to bounce a Bone Crusher giant. And there's a spectacle line of the stage with a stomp to enable it since they just wanted to hit their land drops. Alright. Let's try to leverage this uh, octopus. It's got eight arms, so there's a lot to leverage here. Triome tapped or Hallowed Fountain tapped. Don't think I'll have time to cycle it. But I also don't want to shock myself with the fountain, so we'll see. Alright, opponent just plays Obosh on an empty board. So dismissal's looking pretty good. I could uh, mutate Dracus now and get dismissal back. Yeah, sure. Probably worth shocking myself to keep up uh, God's Willing still. And a Fervent Champion. Can still block it with uh, Lord Rackus. And then I could mutate Vodrock as well. But I'm happy enough just attacking with everyone. I guess I could mutate Vodrock too here. Probably just shocked the uh, Fervent Champion. Alright, we're looking good. Just gotta make sure I don't get burnt out somehow. And now... Dismissal... And then mutates Vadrock onto Vadrock to get dismissal back. Should be game. Alright, and our opponent explodes. Sweet. Our cards definitely lined up pretty well this game. The early shocks for the one drops and then Later Dismissal bouncing a 5-mana Obosh feels pretty good. So we had the right tools at the right time. Alright, sweet, so we didn't drop a game today with our Jeskai Mutate deck. 
Although we didn't face too many of the tier 1 decks out there, like Jeskai Fires, which is probably still a bad matchup, considering that uh, Teferi stops Vadrock getting stuff back from the graveyard, and Deafening Clarion also lines up pretty well against our three toughness creatures. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.